Music is the most important thing in the world. It makes you happy, it makes you sad, it makes you feel every kind of emotion. So what's my top five UK theme park music? Well, we're gonna answer that question today. Hello there guys, my name is Coast Chell and welcome to the five to one UK theme park music. Now if you wanna check out part one, I will link that at the end of the video. But today we're gonna to check out the top five. So this is the one you've been waiting for for about nearly the week ago now. And today we're gonna to count down those last five music tunes. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the location bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Do all that interaction stuff. The links to my Snapchat, my Instagram and Twitter are all in the description down below as well. I'm trying to get good on there. Make sure you go check all them out. By the way, future projects, I've started talking about inspirations for the books. So hopefully in the next couple of years that'll be released and also all the projects are being discussed as well so the future very very bright also guys make sure you go check out a website that I have put uh, in the description down below as well called social blade so if you've got a YouTube channel and you want to check out your future predictions if you keep going the way you are then I'll check it out because current currently in the next five years I'll be nearly at 50,000 subscribers and about nearly 20 million views across the videos which is crazy and for now guys let's get into this video let's count down the top five UK theme park music So kicking off, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the ride at Alton Towers. This is a defunct ride, and I've put this at number five because there are greater ones out there, but it is one of the better family attraction theme tunes because I think it's got that that family atmosphere like some of the other ones in the in the ten to five, ten, well ten to six count there was, and I think that Charlie has just that imagination feel about it. it has that creativity feel about it and I think that it's got that you know it really makes you feel like you are involved in this golden ticket factory with this Willy Wonka factory and you know I remember you know two different versions of this ride before the Alton Towers dungeon came in and that's Charlie and of course Toyland Tours it was last last year or two of Toyland Tours that I remember so you know, it, it that was a fun ride, and to see Charlie come in the year after, I was like, oh, what's happened? And then when I rode it, it felt so much better. It was great to see on tours, obviously, but Charlie also has a special place in my heart, and the, the soundtrack was a big part of that for me, because Charlie was this, you know, fun, magical ride experience that just brightened everyone's day. So... Charlie was a massive part of my childhood and the soundtrack played a big part in that because of how you know magical it felt and how imagination creating it was basically so that's why Charlie's at number five it's one of the best family attraction soundtracks I've ever heard in my life and it was a big part of my childhood at Alton Towers so at number four we've got the brilliant Hex again at Alton Towers. Most of this top five is Alton Towers, to be honest. And Hex is a great soundtrack. It's eerie, it's spooky, it's got that deranged, twisted, haunted towers about it. And, you know, basically, if you don't know what Hex is, basically it's a Vacoma madhouse that opened in my birth year, 2000. I first did it, you know, in 2006, 2007. And, you know, I, I did the original before the you know, Towers Loving Care refurbishment uh, around 2015, 2016. And, you know, Hex is just a magical ride. It's a magical in an eerie way compared to Charlie the Chocolate Factory, which is magical in a family imagine, imagination way. Hex is magically eerie and it's got that sort of, you know, twisted atmosphere about the soundtrack and it's got those voices and, you know, it's got the. It's got the, the darkness about it that I really like about this attraction, but it's not too dark. It's not like a, an 18 plus PG rated horror dark. It's like a, just a family dark and Hex has got that sort of, you know, tenseness about it. And I think that the, the building up of the soundtrack makes it even better. The fact that it starts off quite low and it starts building up and up and up and up and up and has this massive crescendo at the end. Basically, that's a musical term. And, you know, after that massive crescendo, it just sort of, you know, fades down a bit, you know, fades down a little bit. 
and you know that's the that's the best thing about this soundtrack it's completely different from other ones that has a consistent tempo throughout and a consistent like pitch and things like that this one starts off like low and as it go like builds up to this massive crescendo before it fades down again that's very different from the usual soundtrack and that's why I love the Hex soundtrack so much that it's got this dark atmosphere this magical eeriness about it and it's got the difference to other soundtracks where it starts low and builds up to this massive crescendo before a fade out so that's why I love the Hex soundtrack and that's why it's at number four So at number three, it's the fiery Wicker Man at Alton Towers. Now, Wicker Man is a fantastic soundtrack. Wicker Man's just got this, this tribal beat to it. And Wicker Man has just got this, this sort of, again, this eerie darkness about it. Uh, but it's more of an adult-themed adult darkness, like eerie darkness, uh, compared to the Hex eerie darkness about it. And Wicker Man, again, it's just a soundtrack where you just feel part of the atmosphere when you hear it. And, you know, the best thing about it, like I said earlier, was the tribal beat. The fact that it's very tribal, it's very sort of cult-based, you know, because it's, it's based on this Bjorn and this cult story about giving gifts to the Wicker Man. And that's, you know, the fire and, you know, people being offered as a gift to the Wicker Man. And... You know, I think the story suits the soundtrack very, very well. I think the, the soundtrack complements the story, um, and I think this, and I think it works vice versa as well. I think the story complements the soundtrack just as well as the soundtrack complements the story. I think it works both ways because the soundtrack and the story both deliver an eerie atmosphere and a tense darkness about it. And again, this tribal beat just resonates with the story brilliantly, and. You know, there is points where it builds up to an even bigger crescendo and then sort of dies down a little bit and just goes with the normal tribal beat. And I think that that works really, really well in Wicker Man's favour. So, I think that, you know, Wicker Man, again, it's a great soundtrack for Alton Towers. It's brilliantly done. I'm a score did it, so uh, no surprises there why it's so good. And again, Wicker Man is number three because it's such an incredible soundtrack. So our silver prize soundtrack is of course Icon at number 2 at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now Icon in my opinion is a fantastic soundtrack. It just misses out by a smidgen on number 1. You might have an idea what number 1 is. But let's talk about number 2, Icon. Now Icon has this legendary beat to it. It feels like a legendary ride. It feels like an iconic, see what I did there, iconic ride. Now. The beat itself is very dramatic. It sounds like epic movie trailer music, uh, which is what I get from it. And I think the icon really is the bee's knees of soundtracks. It has this iconic atmosphere about it and this tense, you know, you know, atmosphere around it. And I think the what icon does really well with the soundtrack is it has the beat to make it legendary like the beat just becomes like the, the base for an iconic legendary soundtrack and like I said earlier it sounds like some epic dramatic movie soundtrack like a movie trailer soundtrack or something and you know I could see this as like the the soundtrack to like the trailer for the next Jurassic World movie or something or the next Transformers movie and you know icons just got that legendariness about it so that's why i love the icon soundtrack and that's why it's at number two because it's got that iconic movie soundtrack element of it and you know again it makes you feel part of the atmosphere it, feel, it makes you feel like you're about to ride an iconic attraction and that's one of the things i like really really well about this ride so that's why icons are number two but let's check out number one on the list and i think you have an idea about what it could be So number one is Nemesis at Alton Towers. It, it, it had to be. It had to be. Now Nemesis is a Bulger and Mabillard inverted roller coaster opened in 1994. And wow. What a soundtrack. What a soundtrack it is. It's so iconic. More iconic than Icon. Which is, you know, virtually impossible. Because it, it's called Icon for a reason. And, you know, Nemesis, again, it just tops every other soundtrack sometimes it, it's just so iconic it's been around for many many years and again it's a soundtrack that everyone in the theme park community knows everyone in the general public that goes to Alton Towers knows this soundtrack 
and it's just a soundtrack that everyone can relate to and you know about the soundtrack itself it's got that dramatic eeriness about it that you're about to step into this forbidden valley and be face to face with the alien monster known as Nemesis you know and you know there will I will probably do a separate video where I go through the Nemesis story and I might put on like a bit of an act you know be because I'm an actor so I might act out the Nemesis story in a, in a dark eerie fashion and um, yeah I, I can't wait to do that video but what I will say is Nemesis' soundtrack compared to the other ones in this top five it has this sort of um, the beat itself has this very crescendo it, it, it combines crescendo and movie trailer which you know Icon sounds like a movie trailer soundtrack Hex has got this crescendo ending but when you combine them together, it creates more of an effect than the other ones are separately. So, I think that's one thing that sets Nemesis apart from the other soundtracks. Because it has this combination of Epic's movie trailer soundtrack and a crescendo throughout the rest of the soundtrack. So, I think that Nemesis just has that beat to it that just makes you feel like you're in like some sort of opera house and they're doing Alton Towers at the BBC proms. That is an excellent idea. And, um... Yeah, I think Nemesis is number one because it just combines so many different elements and it works together perfectly. It combines this eerie darkness with the crescendo um, points in the soundtrack and it just merged to get together to create this monster of a soundtrack. So that's why Nemesis is number one. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. If it's not as much energy as usual, I do only apologise because... Like an absolute tool, I was out at Mambo's in town last night, and I'm absolutely knackered. So, um, yeah, it, it, not the best idea in the world, but I had a good time anyway. But my throat it feels awful today. But I tried to deliver as much energy as I can. I tried to deliver the most amount of energy as possible in my system. And I hope it was enough for you guys. But stay tuned for more incredible videos coming over the next few days. We've got some incredible news updates to come, I'm sure. We've got some other videos that are going to be coming. Pack videos are still going to be coming. Alton Towers does Love Island. I may decide to postpone that. I mentioned that in yesterday's Fat File from Polton's Park. I may decide to postpone that. Um, and of course, like I said earlier in the video, a video acting out the Nemesis story, I may decide to do that. You never know. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep on the coast of life. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys for more theme park factual entertainment coming very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.